Hi, I'm Barry Langdon, the founder of Align Chemical. We've got this product we're really proud of, and this video will show you exactly how it works. Plants need to receive micronutrients for healthy growth. But in many areas of the UK and around the world, calcareous calcium-rich soils and clay soils are alkaline. This alkalinity locks up these micronutrients, making it difficult or impossible for plants to absorb them, thus affecting their health and development. Even when fertilizer with micronutrients is applied in acidic soil, the micronutrients will often not be absorbed as they need to be. However, we have the answer. Our S. Chelate product range, developed over years of research, provide a new and more effective way for plants to absorb the micronutrients they need, even when growing in soils or other growing media which have been found to lock up established sources of micronutrients. This video shows examples of this by comparing the biologically available pH ranges of some standard micronutrient products with our S. Chelate grades. Firstly, we'll look at manganese. This is important for the healthy growth of all plants because the deficiency of this nutrient can reduce photosynthesis. It's often delivered to crops by applying it as the mineral salt manganese sulfate. Here you see on the left the pH range and precipitating volume of sodium hydroxide of the manganese sulfate compared with our S. chelate manganese on the right. In each case, we have produced a 1% solution by dissolving 1 gram in 100 milliliters of deionized water. In this dissolved state, the manganese micronutrient can be absorbed by plants. However, higher alkalinity in the soil locks up the manganese and therefore our test for each product is to determine the amount of alkali the solution can absorb and still remain dissolved. We employ a solution of sodium hydroxide as a controllable laboratory alkali and we measure the pH content to establish the range over which each product remains biologically available. As we increase the alkalinity, you can see two main differences between the manganese sulfate and the S. chelated manganese. After just 0.5 milliliters of sodium hydroxide is added to the manganese sulfate, increasing the pH value from 7.3 to just 8.7, it quickly drops out of solution and therefore becomes impossible for plants to absorb. By comparison, the S. chelate manganese solution copes with a much more alkaline solution, rising to a pH value around 12.2 before it drops out of solution, by which point it has absorbed 21.7 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide solution, thus showing that our S. chelate can enable plants to absorb the manganese they need in a far more alkaline environment than the commonly used manganese sulfate. Similar results were obtained by comparison with principal sources for other micronutrients with our S. chelate grades. For example, a 1% copper sulfate solution drops out of solution around pH 5.2, having absorbed only 0.4 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide solution. Meanwhile, the S. chelate copper drops out of solution around pH 13.3, having absorbed 26.9 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. Finally, a 1% solution of ferrous sulfate drops out of solution around pH 4, with only 1.3 milliliters of sodium hydroxide being absorbed. By comparison, the S. chelate iron drops out of solution around pH 11, absorbing as much as 20.3 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. As you can see, the differences are remarkable. This video has compared the S. chelate product with the primary alternative methods used to introduce micronutrients, comparing both pH values and the amount of sodium hydroxide required to make the micronutrient drop out of solution. Comparisons with other chelated products also show significant improvements, particularly in more acidic environments, and the S. chelate range also absorbs more alkali salts than other chelates. Thank you for watching. We hope you're as excited about this product as we are. And if you want any further information, please contact us.